Hello my friends and welcome to a new video. Since the creation of an ecosystem is always an interesting occasion, I decided to follow the Logi Days event and make a brief analysis of it all. Logitech brought out two new steering wheel rims, the RS Track and RS Round Wheel. Both come in at 79.99 euro. The RS Round Wheel has a diameter of 291 mm and weighs a proper 662 grams. The materials used are an aluminium frame with the grip made out of smooth faux leather. It features the Logitech logo on the front and the cutouts in the frame make it suitable to use with a Logitech RS Wheel Hub. If you are more into GT driving, the GT Track might be the frame of your choice. It measures 291mm in width and 185mm in height. With 510 grams, it is a bit lighter than the round steering wheel. Uh, the frame is again made out of aluminium, but here the gripping is made out of a thermoplastic elastomer for increased grip. They also included a pattern in the elastomer to improve the dissipation of the warmth of your hands. Again, the frame is cut out to be mounted on an RS wheel hub. By teaming up with Momo again, we can expect some more steering wheel frames to come in the near future, which will feature a variety of shapes and materials. All will have the compatibility with the Logitech RS wheel hub. A point of criticism here would be the pricing. I think that 80 euro for a frame with some grip on it cannot be called a bargain. The RS Wheel Hub is Logitech's button box and comes in two flavors. There is the Xbox specific Wheel Hub, which will set you back $159.99 and features the Xbox layout. The PC specific Wheel Hub is much the same apart from the print on some buttons. This one will set you back $139.99. Why no PlayStation Wheel Hub, you might inquire? A good question, and probably because Logitech just didn't see the necessity for it. For the newer console platforms, there is a security protocol implemented. For Xbox, this is implemented in the Wheel Hub. For PlayStation, this is in the base. This is also why the PlayStation version of the Pro DD11 wheelbase is 100 euro more expensive than the Xbox PC one. A point of criticism here would be that it could have been relatively easy to include a series of yeah, exchangeable pre-printed buttons for the wheel hubs. Logitech does offer a sheet of labels to help map the PlayStation buttons uh, with the wheel hub, but it's just not the same as printed buttons. It would have also been nice to see some more buttons with yeah, icons on it relevant to driving instead of the mostly lettered console specific buttons. Some changes compared to the current button box include a ref counter, two extra buttons by the thumb, a rotary button that changed position, and shifters that can be customized for position and even removed if needed. While I do like the rotary encoders at the bottom or in the opposite direction personally, I do think the other extra features are really improvements. Price-wise, I also do like it. In comparison with the Fanatec CSL uh, Universal Hub, it certainly seems to offer more bang for buck. But that's not all when it comes to steering wheels. For those among us that would love to have a custom deep dish mounted on their Logitech DD, there is the RSQR adapter. With it, you can fit basically any standard 70 or 50.8 mm wheel to your uh, direct drive. It has a substantial price tag though with $69.99, but I guess that it doesn't differ that much from the competition, unfortunately. And last but not least is the RS shifter and handbrake. This was without doubt the piece of hardware I anticipated the most. For €159.99, you can add a sequential shifter or handbrake to your setup. The price is again in line with that of the competition and is priced relatively good. The hardware can operate in three modes, a sequential shifter, a digital handbrake where you bind the movement to an input key and an analog function where it functions more as a slider. You have the possibility to attach two RS shifter handbrakes via the uh, G Pro to play on both PC or console. Of course you can plug them both also directly into the PC. When it comes to the older steering wheels like a G29 or G923, there is also a possibility to use it with the use of the Logitech Racing Adapter. 
However, since this will be plugged into the serial port of your wheelbase uh, for console, you will not be able to use the H pattern driving for shifter. When it comes to supported games, yeah, there are plenty already and probably there will so, uh, be some more added later on. Unfortunately, my testing game ACC does not support the shifter at this moment. The compatibility via the race adapter and the older steering wheels is, yeah, already a lot less when it comes to compatibility. I don't have any criticism really for the shifter. It seems to be thought through, stylish and sober looking, user friendly and priced in line with the competition. What I do have is a general conclusion for this hardware. September 2024 marked the second anniversary of the G-Pro steering wheel, so you can ask yourself the question, too little, too late. When not keeping the G-Pro's fine driving sensation into mind, a lot of people on console have been driven towards the competition because of the lack of ecosystem. This has been made clear in many of my videos and on the groups I monitor on Meta. I personally am not all too thrilled about these peripherals. In my use case, where I just like to drive normal cars, I feel left out. I miss the age pattern shifter that would replace that awful cheap driving for shifter. Again, the lineup is great for racers, but yeah, less for drivers. And where is that pièce de résistance? That 700 euro costing steering wheel coated in gold and diamonds. Don't get me wrong, I would never of my life buy a steering wheel like a Fanatec BMW M4 wheel or a Moza Bentley wheel, but having some high-end piece of equipment like that in your portfolio is simply a must for any self-respecting company. This entire lineup feels just like me studying for my exams in high school, doing just enough effort to pass. So Logitech, thank you, but I hope you have something more in the pipeline when I visit Arak in October. Thank you all for watching, I hope you had something from this video, leave a like if you did and I will see you all next video, bye bye.